and the Shadow Dweller, written by Wendy Madore, illustrated by Beatrice Castro. Berry didn't want to paddle in the rushing river, or scramble through the craggity valley, or climb up murky mountain to the river's source. Why not? asked Rowan. Because I might fall over or fall in, said Berry. You're frightened of everything, sighed Rowan. No, I'm not, said Berry, trembling on the river bank. The elderling will know how to make you brave, said Rowan, grabbing Berry's hand. But, but isn't the elderling scary, asked Berry. Rowan didn't take any notice. They found the elderling by the waterfall. Can you make Berry brave, please, asked Rowan. He's scared of everything. Slowly, the elderling looked up and scattered leaves upon the current. They watched as the leaves floated towards the river's mouth. If this is true, you must go on a quest to find the Shadow Dweller, said the elderling. For only then will you find courage. The sh sh Shadow Dweller, stuttered Berry. The elderling pointed towards the mountains. Follow the river as it meanders through the forest. When the channel of the river splits in two, take the smaller tributary through Craggity Valley until it becomes a dry riverbed. Run through the deserted village that was once buried by the floods, then climb Murky Mountain until you reach Echo Cave. You will find the Shadow Dweller by the spring. Now leave, for I have spoken. We d don't even know what a Shadow Dweller looks like, whispered Berry. Let's go home. But Rowan was already racing towards the river. Come on, she shouted as she scrambled along the rocks. At last, Berry caught up and they slipped and tripped until they came to the forest. I don't like the dark, said Berry as they crept through the trees. Not long now said Rowan, taking the smaller tributary. Look, I can see the deserted village up ahead. What if someone's hiding? cried Berry. Don't be silly, the village is empty, said Rowan, although she looked around uncertainly too. Come on. Eventually, they reached the foot of the mountains. They're so steep, puffed Berry, as he began to climb and climb and climb. The meandering river twisted in the valley far below. I'm right behind you, said Rowan. Try not to look down. So Berry didn't. He kept looking forwards until they reached the entrance to Echo Cave. You did it, grinned Rowan, hugging Berry tight. Listen, I think I can hear the spring. There was a trickle of water at the back of the cave. But where's the shadow dweller, asked Berry. Here I am, said a quiet little voice. Berry jumped and looked up at the wall of the cave. You, said Rowan, you, but you're just a tiny lizard. How rude, said the Shadow Dweller, flicking his tail. Sorry, said Rowan. It's just that the Elderling said that if we reached the source and found the Shadow Dweller, Berry would find courage. The Shadow Dweller looked at Berry. And so you have. No, no, I haven't, said Berry. The Shadow Dweller jumped onto Berry's shoulder. Tell me, was it easy to find me? N no, it was very, very hard, said Berry. We had to go against the current of the rushing river, follow the tributary through the Craggity Valley, and run through the abandoned village. Rowan giggled. Oh, Berry, don't you see? The Shadow Dweller puffed out his chest and smiled. You've already found your courage, Berry, for only the bravest can find me. <laughs> <laughs>